Hey guys, we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, I want to show you something, um, and I'll tell you a story while I'm building this. Um, when I was a girl the age of most of my viewers now, uh, we did not have a Walmart. We did not have a uh, anything to go to. So long story short, we would build our own Halloween decorations. And what we're building today is Bonnie. Yeah, I actually, if you wonder how all this paper is crinkled off, I built him and I didn't like him, so we're going to rebuild him. Uh, you're going to need a plastic bag. We're using a white bag for the head. One, because it's going to help us attach to the body. And two, because it's just going to look nicer to see white in his eyes. And I've got three pieces in here. I'm going to see how this looks when I put it in the mouth. Let me get his mouse. And this is a quick, easy build. It's like, uh, when I was here, uh, the age of a lot of the kids today, um, I live in a really conservative area. You did not get to put a lot out for Halloween. And you did not get to put it out, like, months early or whatever. Um, what you did get to put out, you know, was not much. Um, so, like, these poor scarecrows or whatever you want to call them. Uh, that was pretty big to get to put one of those out. And they're pretty cool. So let's look at the shape of his head before I close them off. We don't want him looking derpy. But remember, um, when we used to have trick-or-treat when I was a little girl, it was actually at night. I don't know if it's still at night for any of you. They moved it to the daytime. They don't even have it on Halloween anymore in my area, but he's looking pretty cool. I am going to give him a little more stuffing because I want this head nice and full. I want to put it on the body. So a little more stuffing right there. And again, guys, this is not going to look like Universal Studios designed it, but you don't need it to. You just need it to look good enough to pass for a couple hours of trick-or-treat. And the fun of a homemade thing is it doesn't have to look exact. So we're going to put him together. And again, you don't have to use a mask like this. I just have this mask on hand. You can use a uh, homemade mask, whatever. And the second part I have here, let me move. Oh god, he is so scary. <laughs> it's like having Bonnie's head. Okay, um, well I do have Bonnie's head, but you know what I mean. It's like, um, being at Freddy's and having his head. No, I'll take one this out. Okay, um, Next part is body. All I did was I took a purple sweatshirt and I turned it inside out to kind of match the uh, little furry um, texture of their body. And again, if you were going to do a whole body, you would then go out and um, if you don't have like a purple sweatshirt, uh, go out and buy it. And same thing, if you're doing Chica or you made a Nightmare or you made Mangle or whoever you're making, um, just use what you have on hand, too. People are really, the fun part about Halloween is you don't have to be super exact. Okay, we're going to stuff the body with a pillow. Simple enough. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to stuff up the arms. Now, the thing is with the arms, everybody is different. Some people like the arms to be so stiff that they stand out like Chica's arms in the second game. People like Wither Chico doing the Mitzi mozzarella pose. Um, it's entirely up to you guys. I like to have play in my arms so I can pose them, but it's like entirely up to you. Um, and again, uh, I'm just doing this for an example, but if you wanted to tape these two to make them look like he has his joints, you could do that as well. Put about four pieces of a city paper, if you have those, or you have newspaper, whatever, in each arm. It's going to give me enough stuffing, but it's going to give me enough to play with, too, so that I can still bend the arms. And the um, pillow, if you are doing this and you need permission, make sure you get permission. Um, another tip is if you live in an area like mine, I live in southwestern Pennsylvania, uh, it gets rainy and cold this time of year. Uh, that's part of the reason the head has plastic in it. Um, you might want to, like, if you can go to the dollar store and get a cheap plastic garbage bag, if you're going to use a pillow, wrap every, all your innards 
in plastic. I said innards, not innards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, wrap this stuff in plastic. That way, uh, you it will still get uh, if you don't have a shelter, it will still get damp the outer stuff, but you won't have sopping wet. Uh, insights, and believe me, if you've ever gotten one of these poor scarecrows wet, they weigh about 50 pounds. Um, if you accidentally left them out overnight, they stink to high heaven. Um, the, it's not pretty, and um, you do not want that. So, we've got the body made, and I have pure clothes here as well. So, he's coming together really fast, and what we would do is day of, like when the trick-or-treaters were going to come, you would wait until you hear the parade. We have a local parade. Right? I, when I tell you guys I live in the country, I'm not kidding. I live in the country. I live in old-fashioned country where uh, you can still have parades and the like, and you could attach this one of two ways. All I'm going to do now for our purpose, Bonnie, <laughs> Bonnie ever listen. Bonnie's like, no, I'm doing my thing, and my thing is not listen to you. Okay, what I'm doing now is stuffing the mask down. Bonnie, Bonnie, listen. <laughs> okay, uh, he's gonna make me tape him. Okay, he's gonna make me tape him. I thought he might. Um, the first time I did this, I did it with all paper, and his head sat there real nice. He's gonna make me tape him. Okay. Oh, and you would make me tape you right on camera, right? Bonnie. <laughs> uh, for older viewers, it's like when I'm playing the game, and he's coming to the door, and I'm like, Bonnie, go away. And we're going to use the plastic, and I'm going to attach a head to the pillow, because I don't care if I get like little plastic stuffies or tape stuffies on the pillow. And we can attach it to the front as well. Walking all over the place. I feel like behaving. But that's the part of the fun of these things. They will flop all over the place. He's not going to be real stiff like a animatronic. <laughs> you don't get to do it. You're <laughs> you have to sit up. I swear, guys, they will fill. Bonnie, come on. Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie. Oh. Okay. Okay, now fooling around. Come on. So sit. Oh. Yeah, and now he's looking at me like, no, we're doing it my way. Oh, you you wanna be like that. You wanna be like that. All oh, flop down. Okay, fine. You can be all flopped down. <laughs> okay, he's gonna flop down on the floor is what he's gonna do. Fine, if you wanna flop down on the floor, flop down on the floor. I swear guys, you can get these guys to sit up. These would sit up real well. Bonnie's cooperating. He did. The first video, he sat there real nice and I'm sitting next to him and talking to him and everything else. In this video, he's like, no, I'm not sitting up. Bonnie. Why are you always the one? Okay, so we're going to put his uh, hands on with her just below. Why? Why? It's just been always Bonnie with me, guys. Bonnie, that acts off to me. He's always coming to my door. Uh, I'm trying to pass the uh, other game, and he's always coming to the door. You know, the uh, fourth game. Nightmare Bonnie's always coming to my door and giving me trouble. <laughs> you. Now come on here, sit off. Oh, I'm gonna have to hold him. Okay. Yeah, this is going to give kids nightmares everywhere. But yeah, they could, these guys will sit up. Sometimes you do have to prop them up with a pole. If they're gonna go flopsy doodles, he's going flopsy doodles right now. As you can see, guys, you can get them. It. He's not behaving at all. I swear, the first time I filmed this, he behaved. He's not what he's He won't behave. You're bad. You. Bonnie the bunny. <laughs>